Hey, what's going on guys? So a glitch was recently found on Borderlands 2 to make Gage a like competitor with Salvador. Yeah. Okay, maybe not one shot damage or you know anything like that, but Gage is pretty much unkillable and insane now. If you saw the intro, you might know that yeah, things are pretty busted. Before we get into how to do the glitch, I do want to give a big thanks to Filthy Eagle. He is a Spanish Borderlands content creator, but he does put out some banger content. Definitely go check it out and maybe give him a follow. Alright, so how do you do this insane glitch? Well, you need gauge, and it's super duper easy. You need shock and awe, and a fake kill skill. And you might be asking yourself, how do you do a fake kill skill? What does that even mean? Well, normally in this game, when you kill an enemy and you get a kill skill, you'll see at the bottom the uh, yellow icon saying, hey, you got a kill. But there are some things you can kill slash, you know, destroy in the game that don't actually give you a kill skill, but count as a kill skill. It's weird. Uh, basically, it's some spaghetti code. Don't think about it. To do it, you can destroy a vehicle using shock and awe. And I didn't really mention it, but shock and awe is when you reload, you're going to do a electrical explosion. And if you destroy a vehicle with the explosion, not the damage over time itself, but the explosion, then it will count as a fake kill skill. Now, cars do have a ton of HP, so weaken it a little bit so you see the fire. And you can see the shock damage from the uh, shock and awe. And now we're going to shoot and reload and hopefully get the explosion. Oh, you can see there we got a kill skill, which means we did not kill it with the explosion, but with the damage over time. But we're going to stop there because this is not the most efficient way to do it. It's just one of the ways. Uh, let's go to the best method for stacking the skill. All right, so we're at Magnus Lighthouse in the Scarlet DLC, and we're at the end of the map pretty much. And right here, you can find a button that's going to bring over this uh, special turret. And this turret's really cool because it only takes one singular hit to destroy, making this the best way to stack this glitch. Alright, now that we're doing the optimal strats for stacking the glitch, let's go ahead and talk about the skills you can stack. The first one's going to be Unstoppable Force. You will get movement speed and shield regen. So if you stack it a bunch, you're going to have infinite movement speed and infinite shield regen, making you invincible and fast. Gage's only other kill skill is uh, Evil Enchantress, and this is actually a really cool skill. Now, normally this skill is eh, okay, but not that great when you get into the OP levels. But now we can stack it infinitely and have insane damage over time. That's right, something unheard of in Endgame for Borderlands 2. Uh, unless you count, you know, Cloud Kill, but that's more of damage ticks, not really the damage over time. So if you get a kill, you will increase your damage from Fire, Shock, and Corrosive damage over time. I highly recommend you also grab Electrical Burn to synergize with that skill, because after you apply a Shock damage over time, which will be easily achieved from Shock and Awe, you can randomly apply Fire damage over time, and for Flesh enemies, they're gonna, they're gonna melt. Also, keep in mind you can boost your damage with a Evil Catalyst class mod or a Legendary Catalyst, or you can even put on the Legendary Anarchist if you want to boost up your Unstoppable Force for even more movement speed, but honestly, I'd say go for the damage over time. Alright, here we go. So you can see now we're in normal speed, everything's, you know, normal. Uh, we're gonna shoot once, reload, do the shock and awe, and now we got a fake kill and the turret came back. And you can see here we're a little bit faster and now we have a permanent stack of Unstoppable Force and Evil Enchantress. So we have more speed, damage over time, and our shield's gonna regen too. So if I throw a grenade and take some damage, watch my shield. Yeah, it recharges right back. Uh, it's basically an easier way to do the buck up glitch on gauge if you think about it. Nine, one more, 10. So now we have 10 stacks. We're gonna run around. And yeah, now we're really, really speedy. In fact, we're faster than Breakneck Banshee Maya with 11 out of five on fleet. Uh -huh. But you know, why stop there when we can get, you know, maybe, I don't know, 200 stacks? Also, I'm using a striker with a T-Door grip and the Texas prefix for the fastest reload and emptying your mag and a deputy badge for the reload speed so we can do this, you know, a lot faster. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to stack all the stacks and we'll check it out. And again, you can do this infinitely, but we're going to stop at like 200 and whatever we have, 220, 219. And now we're stupidly fast, invincible, and have insane damage over time. Also, the speed will gradually build up if you have a lot of stacks. You know, it's not going to be something you have instantly. So if you keep running and don't bump any walls and reset your speed, you're going to have, yeah, really fast speed. We might need a bigger map for this. All right, let's go ahead and go back. So we're going to jump there. There we go. And then we're pretty much back at the beginning. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> also, you can travel and all that good stuff without, you know, losing your stacks. It will stay permanently. Uh, the only way it will go away is if you jump back in the car and jump out. That will, like, reset it. Or if you save quit. Otherwise, you have the stacks forever and have fun with it. Oh, I forgot. We're on OP0. Um, I do promise it does work at OP10, but I'm not going to restack. We just stacked 200 and yeah, we're good. But you can see here we're going to take damage and nothing's happening to my HP. Uh-huh. We're going to reload once. And look at that damage over time. Yeah. And remember, you can do any damage over time, but if you want to get the most out of, um, what is that one skill called? Uh, electrical burn. You want to do shock damage. 
And Shock and I will always give a damage over time from uh, Shock damage. Uh-huh. And you can see here our speed is ridiculous. Yeah, I can't even control it and not hit a wall. Now, I should mention if you do want to do raid bossing, you're going to need a lot of stacks. Uh, even at 200, you can see here. I mean, we're doing okay damage, but you're going to need a lot more than that. Last thing I want to bring up is if you have way too many stacks, um, you know, thousands, your game will start hitching because you have so many stacks. Uh, it happens for any stacking glitch in the game, like, you know, um, buck up if you do it too much or uh, Salvador amp stacking glitch. Um, I think there's another one. But yeah, you can stack as much as you want and dish out the damage you want, but it might need a lot of stacking. Yeah, we're taking damage over time, but we're not really taking damage over time. And you can see my B shield's not even like breaking, it's just staying full. And you can actually do like a, a real build, you know, put on like actual guns. And you can taunt by, you know, running circles. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the video today, so hopefully you guys have fun with this glitch. And honestly, I'm pretty happy we have a gauge glitch now, not another, you know, Salvador glitch. Because I find Gage to be the most boring character. Uh, sorry, Gage lovers. I just don't find her fun. And now we have a fun glitch that we can mess with. And I mean, it can help in a lot of ways. You know, speed up your farming or speed up your, you know, uh, boss killing. Whatever you want to do. And yeah, I definitely recommend, you know, giving it a try. Again, Filthy Eagle is the one who found this glitch. So definitely check out his channel in the description below. And of course, if you guys did enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it, then be sure to sub and, you know, share this video around if you want to. But yeah, you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.